Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial on understanding and using Wi-Fi on your Android phone. When you're at home, in the office, or in a coffee shop, Wi-Fi saves your mobile data plan, letting you surf with indemnity. To get started, from the home screen, we'll hit the menu key on the phone and choose Settings. We can also access settings by going into our Applications list and choosing the Settings item there. Choose Wireless and Networks. The second item in this list is Wi-Fi. Turn Wi-Fi on if it's not already by tapping the box to place a check mark. Next, tap on Wi-Fi Settings. Below, a list will populate with any Wi-Fi networks that are in range. Wi-Fi access points that are secured will appear with a small lock icon. If this lock icon is not present, that means anyone can connect to the network. Be aware that on an open access point, people might be able to see what data you're transmitting. So be careful which online services you choose to access. For a secured network, you'll need to have the network key. This is a password, a string of characters and numbers, or a hexadecimal string. The network administrator will have this information. If it's your home Wi-Fi network, you should already have this data logged. Tap on the access point you want to join. A dialog box will pop up. Here, you'll see the security settings for the network. WPA2 PSK is the most secure current standard and is recommended. You'll also see the signal strength ranging from very poor to excellent. Type in your password in the text field. If you want to view the characters as you're inputting them, tap the box to check Show Password. Hit the Connect button. The top of the Wi-Fi settings screen will let you know what's going on as it associates with the access point, gets an IP address, and finally connects. Now you'll see a Wi-Fi connection icon on the top of your phone's screen beside the mobile signal strength indicator. Use your phone like you normally would to access data services. If you go out of range of the Wi-Fi access point, your phone will default back to using the mobile data connection. The password and network information will be stored in your phone, though, so the next time you're in range of this Wi-Fi access point and you have Wi-Fi turned on, your phone will automatically associate. Thanks for watching this tutorial on using Wi-Fi on your Android phone. For more helpful mobile tech tutorials, visit Butterscotch.com.